today, I decided I'm going to have to throw in a Christmas shave. I know I haven't done many uh, videos at all this year, but I wanted to do a couple at the end of the year. Uh, one on Christmas and then one at uh, just to show you what I've been using this year. I'll do that uh, before or just right after New Year's. It all depends on time, but uh, I wanted to throw in a just quick shave. Uh, be using uh, the gentleman's groom room. Uh, this is the essence of Scotland malt and myrtle, and uh, it is fabulous. It smells just a lot of uh, enriched and fragrance with bog myrtle, rosemary, and natural honey, mixed spices, and uh, some single malt whiskey, Aberfeldy. And it is good, very good. Uh, we'll be using that, and then uh, I'm pulling out my Christmas razor. Uh, one of my aristocrats, and this is the uh, 1946 to 47. And these did come out on or around Christmas, Gillette. And uh, it comes in the square box, like this. With a, uh, it, it'll say aristocrat on it, red lining. Uh, the other one that some people get it confused with is the 48 to 50. It comes in a rounder box, got dust on it. <laughs> it says Gillette on the outside, a rounder box. And it, it does come with blades right there, but this one doesn't. It says Aristocrat. And uh, it has knurling up here. I'll show you the difference. Here's the two side by side. And I, I prefer the older one, the 46 to 47. It shaves me better. But if you own the 48 to 50, uh, don't try to kill yourself to get one of these older ones, the 46 to 47. Some people say it's more aggressive. I just think it has just a little bit more weight uh, and uh, it's a little bit more efficient for me. I'm not a big aggressive razor person, so it's not that that aggressive, but uh, it's great. And then uh, I got, I'll got i be finishing up the shave with uh, my new aftershave, Club Men. It's the Reserve Whiskey Woods. And I heard this was $6 off Amazon, maybe just a little bit more, 6 to $7. Wasn't, a, wasn't expensive at all, six fluid ounces, and it, it smells great. Old school. Uh, kind of reminds me of, you know, a lot, long lines of uh, Stetson Brute, something, something my dad would wear. If he smells it, he'll probably try to take it from me. And then uh, I'll be using my Jasper. The Sir Nickel off of Instagram brush. He made this for me. This handle has been dropped a few times, so it has a few dings uh, from my from its perch. But he's got a badger. I believe it's 22 millimeter, maybe 24, somewhere around in there. It's good. I call it the Zeus big brush. Give you a size comparison, <laughs> but. Great. Let's get uh let's get started. Mm. We had a great Christmas this morning. Kids woke up extra early. They were excited. Liam, he uh he likes to open one gift and then he wants to play with it before he moves on to another gift. So it, it's a process with Liam. Uh, but Isla, she don't really play with toys. She just likes to open things and go to the next one. And then uh, she found my beef jerky. I got beef jerky. She tore into that. It was good. It's good. I got me a, another Atlanta Braves sweater. Zip up hoodie. Uh, that's my house coat. I've had it for several years. My other one was tearing up. And I got house shoes. Um, yeah. A few other things. But those are the main ones that I like. I was surprised with. Oh, and I got a uh, Carhartt uh, Brown Duck Sherpa Line uh, vest. So I was going to get a, we got family coming over today, so I was going to get a shave in real quick. Pull the family got here. Got this red tint to it. If you look on the bottom of the soap, 
Got a few pebbles, sticks, you know them Scottish. A little sawdust, things at the bottom. I call goodness. Piece of Scotland. Got a lovely scent. Liam got this um, oh, what was that? Some kind of tool set, a tool bench. He's got tools. He's been playing with that all morning. Did y'all get any shaving stuff? <laughs> I am fixing to bite the bullet on the... Uh, it's a French soap. It's been around for a while. It came out around 2015. Not even going to try to pronounce it, but SDM. Donkey milk. Uh... Saw some people have it, looked it up, and I remember checking out the reviews, but I never did get it. It's kind of a little pricey, but it's a family-owned business. They raise uh, bees and donkeys and other things. They got a pretty cool sight. Can't read most of it. Look at that. Mmm. That's a lovely, lovely lather. No, uh, but it's a. Uh, I say they make their soap with love. I believe. Subtle scent. I like that. Make sure we still record. Yeah. I've been using that Wolfman with the ATE, uh, the above the tie handle, for so long, uh, so much that any other <laughs> razor feels so light. Trimmed off about a uh, half an inch off each side of my mustache. I haven't been uh, really styling it, uh, other than just blow drying it, putting the lanolin in it, wearing it kind of like a wide herb. Yeah, I'd like to hear some shaving goodies y'all got. I've been, uh, I'm really on Instagram, and it saved me a lot of money. But now that I'm back on, I've been on the last month, I uh, found several things I want. 
don't really so much razors, just uh, try the aftershave, I mean the, the soaps that are out there. Let's come out. Some of them have gotten big. Reformulated, you know. Need to uh, clean my brushes. Got this uh, soap from uh, Douglas. It's supposed to have some goodies in it that'll clean it. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. This old wrist crap. Such a nice shaver. So nice. Alright, the uh the whiskey and woods aftershave. It's a smoky scent with whiskey, tobacco, and woody notes. And it has uh you know, alcohol, water, fragrance, some stuff that we can't pronounce, three something, uh, red four, blue one, you know, it's got some, it's club man. It's not an artisan. Ooh, came out. Ah, smells so good. I like it. Yes. It's got a, just an old school, you know, right around the long lines of Brute, uh, Stetson, that old school smell. Good woodsy. Yeah. 
maybe tobacco. I like, I like it a lot. Uh, but I'm gonna get dressed, go out here and meet my family, do something with my mustache. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably just, I might even leave it like this. <laughs> but I hope everybody had a great Christmas and uh, look forward to hearing y'all and uh, be talking to you soon. I'll put out a video at or around New Year's, tell you what I've been using this year and uh, maybe even tell you some things I got my eyes on for next year. But uh, I hope y'all have a great time. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy gift, uh, secular gift giving day, and uh, joy to the world. I'm Gap. I'm out.